Let's change the background color of this document here inside of InDesign. Here inside of my swatches panel, I have created a new swatch called background. Let's go and grab my rectangle tool, drag out a nice big rectangle which covers the entirety of the page. Make sure it's filled with my swatch. Right mouse click, arrange, send it back. And that's it there guys, we are done. Kind of simple, huh? Now for those of you with a spare five minutes to waste, feel free to sit back and enjoy the first version of this tutorial that I made, uh, which like I say, took an entire five minutes to make. But mind you, keep in mind, I do give you some cool information about what this paper swatch is just here. Catch you in the next one. I'd like to show you how you can change the background color of a document here inside of InDesign. So I have a simple composition going on just in here, and I'm thinking I would like to add maybe a soft pastel color to the background. Over here on the right, I have my swatches panel. That can be found up under Window, Color, Swatches. And this panel is great for creating colors that you can use throughout your document. And of course, what's great is should you update any particular swatch, it will update wherever it's been used through the document. Now, a lot of people, when they're poking around in here, they'll see this option for paper. So you double click on it to have a bit of a look at the options and you start dragging around the sliders. And what do you know? We appear to have changed the background color. Now I say appear because I'm gonna show you in just a minute. What's going on is possibly not what you think. So let's, uh, let's dial in a very specific number. So I'm thinking um, magenta 15 and yellow 10. So let's say that's the color I wanna use as my background. So I'll choose okay. And you can see the paper swatch has indeed been updated here inside of the swatches panel. And very obviously out here, our background color has changed. Everything's looking great, right? Well, let's export this out as a PDF and see what's going on. So file. Adobe PDF presets, let's uh, choose press quality just here. Uh, demo is fine, I'll pop it on my desktop. Now, of course, guys, normally you'd be um, factoring in things like marks and bleeds, but we're just focusing on background today. So let's just choose export. That's gonna auto open here inside of Acrobat. And here is our document. So you can see here inside of InDesign, we've got this lovely background color. It hasn't made it through to the PDF. What's going on? Well, this paper swatch here, guys, it's purely for on-screen viewing here inside of InDesign. So the word paper is chosen very deliberately because when you print something out, of course, the background color will be whatever color the paper is itself. So InDesign is honoring that situation through the use of the word paper just here. Now, the reason they let you change that is because if, for example, you are printing on paper with a very distinct color, you may wish to try and reproduce that yourself here on screen, just to visually give you a better design process, help you better work out color schemes and the like. So long story short, this paper option here, guys, it's purely a display within InDesign thing only. It has nothing to do with printing. As we saw, this paper setting doesn't make it through to the PDF. So let's double click on that and let's set that back to zero. Okay, so we're basically back where we started. So how do we change the background color? Well, sorry to let you know, guys, it's kind of boring. We're basically just gonna draw a big rectangle, apply that color to it, and then just send that to the, the background. In other words, uh, put it behind all of our artwork. So, swatches panel. Let's go to the flyout menu and choose new color swatch. And let's dial in that same number that I did before. So 15 units for magenta, 10 for yellow, and I might even give it the fantastically creative name of background. Choosing OK, there is our new swatch showing up just there. Let's go and grab our rectangle tool and let's drag out a big rectangle that fills the page. You know, of course, guys, if you're doing professional printing, um, you want to be factoring in bleeds here, make sure your document has a bleed. You would want to also make sure that that rectangle gets all the way to the edges of the bleed. We're just keeping this example nice and simple for now. Okay, so we've dragged out a rectangle. We have filled it with that new swatch color that we'd made. So I'm just going to right mouse click on this guy, choose Arrange, Send to Back. So that has jumped up behind all of the artwork. So this is visually looking exactly like what we set up a few minutes ago when we changed the paper color. But let's see if this time it actually survives the export to PDF. So File, Adobe PDF Presets, Press Quality. 
Let's call this demo one. Export. And here in Acrobat, fantastic. This is looking great. So it's made the cut this time. So you can see here's our first example where we were just playing with the paper option here inside of our InDesign. And then this is the one we just exported out. There we go, where the color has actually made it all the way through because in InDesign, we basically just made a giant rectangle, colored it and sent it to the back. So that's it there guys, how to change your background color for a document here inside of InDesign. I hope that helps. Catch you later.